Alrighty, let's get this started. So first, the hard part, in my opinion, opening up DOS box, which I don't even know where I put it. I guess it would be in the docs box. Menu item, but anyway. Alright, let's see. Oh, this keyboard's terrible. Sorry, this takes me a little bit. All right. Fancy. Oh my god, it's really tiny. Tiny! I didn't think it would be that small. All right. So let's zoom in, like, way in, I guess. Looks good. All right. Copies of the software. It was a long time ago. Blah blah blah. Yay! Sparkles! Alright, now the best part of the game. We'll start a new hero. I think I have my stuff in here. Yeah. Oops. Wrong button! Ah, oh, nice. I changed my mind. Oh, well, anyway. So old. So you want to be a hero. We'll cut this out for now. Be back in a minute. Alright, we're good now. get to choose character name. Hero is usually the name. But, um, what should I call him? Alright, we'll call him Anderson. We get a set number of points. We have 50 available points and we can put them anywhere we want. So what I usually do is I like a little bit of planning. Gotta work on that. Um, hard sometimes. So magic's just, I don't know, it doesn't, what do I want? He's not intelligent, so I guess, you know, maybe I'll jump that up to 10. Ah, uh, well, that sucks. Anyway, I think we'll be good enough. Let's start. Cute. We go into town. Graphics are amazing. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking the pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. Who knows? The man with the pipe greets you, and he says a bunch of stuff. Welcome to our town. Yeah, you made it down from the mountains before the snow blocked the pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, was I, I'll just say that. We certainly could use a hero around here. I am Sheriff Schultz Meisters. This is Otto von Goon, my assistant. Good luck in your quest. Don't die. Alright, so what I like to do is go up here and change his stance to running, because even in Pokemon we don't walk everywhere, so it's just, oh, it's so slow, okay. 
Then I change the detail to be all the way up, speed all the way up. So your finder restore and save. So we got here, we got walking, vision, so look at stuff, pick up stuff, touch stuff, not always the best idea. Talk to people, some magic. This is something I think that has to do with actually being a magician. This isn't magic, this is like sleeping and stuff. Anyway, I don't have any magic. This is my pack. I got some gold, some goods, sword, shield, and some armor. And yeah, so that's the basic uh, play. So the best thing to do is actually just talk to people. You should know, you came from the mountain. Talk about the town. This town was named after the Barons of Spielberg. It used to be a lively place to be before the brigands came and drove all the businesses away. You can find a place to stay at the end next door. You can learn about jobs available at the guild hall down the street. If you are interested in magic, you should visit the magic shop. There's still plenty to do and see here at Spielberg. Yeah. So ask about the Baron. Baron Stuffin keeps mostly to himself at his castle north of here. We haven't seen him in town for years. Hmm, suspicious. Magic. Just next to the end is a small uh, magic shop. The owner, Zara, will let you in if, she, if you have some abilities in that area. She's a strange one, alright. I actually like her. Go talk to the innkeeper. He will, you know, blah, 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 blah. Guildhall is at the southwest corner of town. If you're looking for work, that's a good place to go. Monsters! Monsters come down from the mountains every winter, but they're usually gone by now. The Baron just doesn't have and I'm in to handle them. Wolfgang is the one to talk about the monsters. He's had a lot of experience with them, even the same leg or something. Wolfgang down at the guild hall is one of the, to talk about the monsters. A lot of experience. Oh. The guild hall is at the southwest corner of town. If you're looking for work, that's a good place to go. I know. I have to go through everything. You'll need to talk to the Baron about that or go ask Wolfgang down at the guild hall, which is just down the street, so maybe you're going to be a hero. Well, we could surely use one around here, with all the brigands. Yeah, maybe I already clicked on that, right? Adventure? Alright. What? What do you mean I get no response? You get no response from the goon. Alright, let's go do stuff. Oh, it looks like a creeper. So we go into this part of town, we basically click left and right to go to different parts. Let's go to Zara's place, get some more experience up here. These are hard points to get, actually. Oh gosh. So first, we can look at stuff. This thing. And he wakes up the magical creature, which is Zara. Zara's cool. I'm Zara, and my companion, Dan. No. <laughs> the items in the shop are designed for those skilled in the use of magic. Am I skilled in the use of magic? Wait, let's look at her. It's a mysterious, unearthly look to her. You have a feeling that she is not a person to trifle with you yeah, about that. I am both human and fairy folk. I draw my power from both. My name is Zara, and this is my shop. The fairy folk, we are people of power and magic and live in the forest far beyond the mountains to the west. Your power is the essence of magic is by the wizard shapes in a shape body. Alright. That strange creature is both my familiar and my magic friend. Well, friend, what? We share our lives and our magic. Familiar is a creature, I guess I'm saying it right, of a magical ability which has been summoned to serve the weasel zone. The summoning of a familiar is most powerful spell and can be cast but once. It binds the wizard and the familiar for the end of their lives. And I miss that, but anyway. We have mastered nine spells, have the power to cast all, and proven yourself worthy by accomplishing great deeds, then must undergo initiation, become a full wizard, and there's a place in the distant south where you must journey before, but first you must become a hero here, which I will not be doing because I am not a wizard. And stuff. Yeah, there's some potions and stuff. I am a hero. Master of Arts Arc. Skills of English, and I will become a true hero one day, but I won't be here. I think I'm gonna start skipping all this stuff because it's kind of like. 
So here's where the point where I'm going to save. Let's see here. Wow. Let's save that. Make sure I'm in the right directory. We're good. Oh crap. I just saved over that file. My bad. Oh well. Anyway. Such is life. Pretty little fish. Strange globe. So let's go touch her. Aww. Can I touch anything? Okay. Well, we're not gonna die here today, so let's go. Hmm. She doesn't notice. Can we touch her? Okay, this guild hall is... Ridiculous. I'm gonna skip a lot of the talk here. Uh, yeah. Guess we should sign this guild book. Get more points up here. Yay! And we have jobs here. So our jobs, these are actually the important things about this place. So we look at this. Reward for the return of Lost Ring. Inquire at the humors. Easy job. The poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture of a small child with braids. Reward 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. We reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description. Short, ugly, and wears brightly colored robes. Has a habit of laughing continually. Inquire at Spielberg Castle Gates. Wanted brigand leader. Unknown appearance. Wears a cloak. Must provide proof of leader's identity. Reward of 60 gold coins and title of hero of the realm inquires over gates. Sounds like how to become a hero. Notice, spell components needed, cash or trade for potion to inquire the heroes. This poster seems to have been here a while. It has a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. Reward 50 gold coins for the information leading to the return of Baronet Bernard von Spielberg. Inquire Spielberg gates. So many people are missing. So let's go out of here. Me! So we got lots of points there. This is saying we don't want to mess with that. Even in death, this monster remains awesome. Black Reed's dragon, slain by Baron. Head is like a panther's, but with strongly human-like quality. It's still rather frightening. Black Reed's cheetor, slain by Wolfgang. Whatever. It's certainly a weird one. You've never seen anything like it. Black Reed's Antwerp, slain by two guys from Andromeda. Looks like it must have been a particular nasty troll. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark forest. Black Reed's troll slain by Wolfgang. Major. Crossbreed of an eagle and a lion could have torn a man apart when it was alive. The Black Reed's griffin slain by Wolfgang. Of course. Black Reed's moose. Courtesy of Sierra Online Prop Department. <laughs> you never saw Purple Saurus before you came to Spielberg, but it looks like a really stupid monster. This black reed saurus slain by Hans Halfwitten. Okay, let's go wake this guy up and do stuff. Okay, well I guess we gotta go wake him up. Wake him up. Touch. <laughs> touch, touch, touch. I need your attention now, please. Oh, I was so busy. I didn't know you come in. Oh, most people think this valley is cursed because it is. Oh, where are we? I'm gonna talk to you about the guild hall and stuff, and we know what it does here. We got your adventures. You slayed Antwerps, and that was great. Monsters on the walls, we've already seen that. So we can discuss all of these, but I'm not going to go into that. Bulletin board. Oh, lots of jobs there. Lots of rewards and stuff. Guess we'll... Yeah. Okay, I need to do I skip a lot of talking, I guess. Let's go. Alright, gotta save. Let's see on the right thing this time. Saving. Okay, let's go touch this guy. I'm not that sharp, I'm not that sharp. Well, I thought I could do something. Can't get in that door unless you're a thief. So we'll go to the other end of town. Pretty woman! Good day, 
look at the spiller. Would you like to buy some of my nice fresh fruits or vegetables? Why, well, yes, I'd like to talk to you. What's your name? I'm Yilbe. I don't know, daughter of Hendrik Fliflemosion of some guy. Okay. And there's stuff. Date? Thank you, but my father thinks I am too young. He would not permit it. Perhaps next year. Too bad. Too bad, hero. And there's vegetables and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in here. Talk to this guy. This is the very basics of the game. You go talk to people. And this is a dry goods store. Nobody ever notices me. Oh, you look like an adventurer. You are a shopkeeper. Your items are ordinary. Gotta talk to you. What's your name? Why, that's me, Kalspaw. Mm, stuff. Flask. Oh, I may, might have to buy some stuff here. Money! Pick. I need a flask. What else do I need? Mm, I'm good. I'm out of here. Alright. Go back to your book. Can't get in that door, that's where people live. Gotta be a thief, gotta be a magician, but I like being a fighter. If you go in this alley at night, it is not a good thing. But there's a some dude here. He can give alms and stuff, but I'm not interested. Got hero business. Um, you can't go in here. I said they'd gone fishing. But here's some good stuff. Last place to visit in town. The bar! Smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt and the bar is sticky with beer. The smoke appears to be rising from the sand cast behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon on the left. You get the impression that you are not welcome. But it's a bar! Okay, so we're gonna save it again. We're gonna try to do some stuff and pick up this note. B, he's starting to get suspicious. Hold off on our meetings a bit. But I'll keep you posted by these notes, B. Anyway, um, that's if you're a thief. Drunken barber at the end of the bar isn't in any shape to talk. At least not coherently. What do we got over here? Butcher shop. There's not a whole lot of meat in town for me to butcher these days. Now, if someone would just bring down that stag in the forest, it's a pretty stag. Don't kill it. I haven't been able to get any supplies since the brigands closed off the area. The bakery will reopen as soon as I have some. They go fish! Alright. So, save it again. This is going to take a lot. Okay, so we go sit down here. Bartender, ask you what you want. What do you want? I'll talk to you. What's your name? Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. I need, oh, I need that money back. So here's how you die. You get the breath. Dragon's breath. If you want a mug of dragon's breath, half rule C, I'll have to be cash up front. Cough up the cash. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Crusher, a friend here wants a dragon's breath. tasted anything like it before. Ooh, wow. Death. Ooh, I died. Maybe you really shouldn't have tried Dragon's Breath. Better luck next time, we hope you saved your game. <laughs> Alright, so if we restore this some junk. Alright, so here's another way to die. Get to touch the goon over here. That's a good thing. 
so I'll just talk to him really fast. Okay, well maybe not. Let's go. 